Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. Okay, so... We're doing okay. Yeah, we've now got some armor, actually. Before I scan for anything, I want to, uh... Do something else, specifically. Want to go to the proving ground. Because we've got an exosuit under construction. But... I figure I might as well get a spider suit, because I think I'll give that to my sniper. So... I can work on that. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. So, hopefully that should be reasonably effective. And... Maybe I should have kept the poison rounds. Especially given that at the moment I keep doing one less than fatal damage to vipers. Now, oh well. Yeah, that, that's quite a while back. So. Excellent, we have made contact in New Mexico. Yay! Soon we might actually get to a bit of the world that isn't America. And I really don't think Central should be the one actually going and saying hello in person. We're if any of those guys is a faceless man, he'll get killed. And that would be, you know, awkward. New regional contacts located. Okay. And we need to get there as soon as possible, but we're going to need a comm room up. So... We're going to visit the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Because we need to start chipping away at the Avatar Project Progress. I wonder if every time you kill a uh, Codex alien, then you get stuff. That'd be useful. Uh, we're going to need them, aren't we? Stun lancer corpses. Advanced order loader. Order loader's useful, but I think I can afford to sell them because I need, you know, I need money basically at this point. I need supplies. Oh, only f if only I had something that was quite pricey, but, you know, I didn't need. <laughs> uh, right, let's drop us down to that. Muton corpse, viper corpse. I still haven't got around to muton autopsies yet, have I? Gonna need the trooper corpses, unfortunately. for more stuff I can sell. <sighs> Viper Corpse, maybe? Newton Corpse. Mech Corpse. I'm, I'm going to regret selling a lot of this stuff, I suspect. Sectoid Corpse. Probably don't need this many Officer Corpses. And I'm going to regret that, but I'll get rid of a couple of cores. Now, I think that might give me enough get work on the comm center started. Uh, power relay, empty room. Oh, facility, excellent. Resistance comms. Need 110. Okay. Resistance get that building. Facility construction initiated. And I'm going to need it quickly. So, is anybody actually... I don't think anybody's... Uh, no, there's nobody in there at the moment. Excellent. So, I'm going to... Empty that out. And get them working on construction of the comma ray. Okay, so eight days, then we can start heading to Mexico. And once we get to Mexico, then we can uh, start screwing up or the Avatar project plan. So let's get those alien alloys. New you never know when you're gonna need alien alloys. Actually I could probably spend some intel and go oh well. Targets acquired. Okay, what do we got? Okay, Avatar Project. Major breakthrough. Kind of need to stop that and the scientist would be useful. Engineer, and it's a dark event, but it's hidden. Check the device. Supplies. Okay, at the moment, I actually think I've got enough engineers at this particular moment in time. Admittedly, you know, losing supplies next month is going to be annoying. But I think that that feels like the best option because that prevents three. You know, that prevents them getting two blocks of progress, which you know 
two blocks of progress is very bad. And I get a scientist out of it, so yes, hack the workstation on the advent train. Okay, confirm. Setting course for sector eight, Mexico. Let's go. <laughs> it's good to have a proper squad. Okay, if I'm taking Valkyrie, then I don't need Red Comet, but... Sorry, Red Comet, you're out, but I do need... Bakes. You are going to be awesome once you're uh, ready. Some you'll need a... Uh, you'll want your Siam. Advanced Siam progresses Siam with Sionic Strength by plus 20. Excellent. Ah, okay, that's equipped as her uh, secondary weapon by default. I do like the purple eyes. So she's got a Predator armor, and she's got that, which is fine. Her hacking skill is low, however, uh, you are getting the Skulljack on the grounds that you have a hacking skill of 90, which you need. I can at least put a grenade in that utility. He's got that. Okay, max one grenade per soldier. So you'll have to get something in there, but I haven't decided what yet. But I'm glad they've now all got Predator armor. That's going to be handy. And, what is more, Valkyrie has uh, her exosuit. Which is better even than the Predator armor. In a different way, but uh, better. So, a few more days and I should have enough... Well, I'll have at least one more exosuit. And the spider suit's going to go to Jedi. Yes. Alright, I think we're ready to deploy. Actually, no. You take a grenade. Viking, I want you with the nanoscale vest. Purely because, you know, he, if I, since I've given him the Skulljack, he might well end up taking fire. So it makes sense to me to uh, cover him. And while I've got... Uh, Everybody else ready to go. <laughs> this should be fun. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Now, admittedly, this is a difficult mission, apparently. But yep, you know, I've got One men, you know, men and women who are well armored, who are well armed. Local area sweeps from trains in this region, and the remote terminal they're using is currently exposed on their network. We're after data critical to the aliens' latest project. So we're heading in to seize control of the access point. Clear out any hostile resistance in this area and secure the train. Roger that. This is our chance to stop their progress. Come on, there we go. I say, it has a habit of doing that when it's loading. Actually, it has a habit of doing that generally, but... Damn, they look good in actual body armor. Rather, rather than whatever they can slap together. Out you go, guys. I'm still not convinced deploying by jumping and grabbing a cable is a fantastic Man, idea. But, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Roger that. To secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Roger that. Unfortunately, there's never any bloody cover on top of the trains, which is a pity. That'd be an ins actually an insanely useful ability for a sniper. Would be um, effectively a lie down ability. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. Or what you would do a go prone ability, so that they basically gain, go say, a defensive bonus against anyone below them, something like that. That'd be a really nice thing for someone to mod in. Keep coming up with ideas for stuff I'd love to see someone mod into this game. Okay, Viking, you've got Step point. On. There's an argument to be made I should just try and mod it in myself, but I have no specific training in modding, so... I could learn, I suppose. Running. I do love the exosuit armor. I mean, I'm hoping we get proper power armor at some point, but... Uh Good to go. For those of you not aware of the difference, an exosuit basically, you know, is an external thing, well, pretty much like that, whereas full power armor actually completely covers the entire body. 
and in many cases is viable for things like um, operation as a full spacesuit, for example. Moving to Overwatch. Moving out. Yeah, so different things make sense in different situations. You know, an exosuit is light is a lot lighter because it doesn't have to cover the entire body and uh, all of that stuff. All right, let's see if your hacking skills up to hacking this thing. Accessing system. It should be because you now have a hacking skill of ninety, which is a lot, I presume. Tech score eighty. Okay, seventy-four percent chance. Uh, squad recovers all action points already spent. Okay, this was the first thing I did this term. It's annoying. Gank to forty-three percent, seventy-four percent. I'm not risking the forty-three. Oh come on! I swear to God, the hack it. Is the hacking just bugged, or am I just incredibly unlucky? Because that's about the third time that uh, I've hacked something that really should have worked and for some reason didn't. Oh boy. Right. On my way. Move up, Ericsson. Move up, madman. Valkyrie. Ray, do you get the dubious job of advancing first, but hey, you've got body armor. You've got really damn good armor, actually. I'm on it. Guns. You advance with her. No need to ask twice. I need to remember his grenades are more effective. Bakes, you can advance. Copy that. Dead eye. Advance. Location confirmed. Okay, here they come. Shh. You hear that? I know we're here. Here they come. Damn it. I'll get him next time. We've got advent here. Ah hell, we've got a muton and multiple advanced advent soldiers. It's the muton is gonna be the problem. Yeah, hey! Damn it. Nice try, Valkyrie. Ah, oh, hell. Enemy is still up. Yeah, I still think hacking's kind of bugged. Right. Okay, lightning hands. Free shot with your pistol on. Yeah, shoot that viper. Okay, you took out his cover. That's okay. Because that did not cost an action. Which means you can now snipe it with your rifle, which should be sufficient to kill it. Come on, get the kill. Lovely. That's okay, that's okay. That, that was good uh, use of what we had. Alright, Viking, what have we got visible? Snake man, yeah. God, there was a lot of bloody snake man. And I know for a fact there's a goddamn muton coming around from the side. So, guns. 22% terrible hit chances. No, no, I can. If I can aim it right. No. I know that I can. Hang on. I'll do it that way. That'll do. And I'm going to have to end this part pretty soon. I after uh, Guns takes this shot. Nice shot. Damn it, I would have preferred it to blow out that cover, but oh well. So I'll uh, say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.